Hello. This video is in response to a question posted on my channel about how do I read a text file whose size I don't know in advance. So there is a video on my channel where we do this using an array, but we have to read through the file twice. The first time we read through it and find the size of the file. The second time we read through it and we, we after making an array of the size we've calculated. Well, that's a little cumbersome and it kind of causes you, makes you read through the file twice, which is annoying. So one solution to this is to use what's called an array list. Um, an array list is a dynamic data structure. What that means is the size can change during runtime. So we don't need to know how many elements we have in advance of making our array list, unlike an array who we need to know how many elements exist prior to starting. Um, an array is called a static data structure. If you're interested in this, you can click and watch my um, video on array lists and you'll get a little more detail about this. So I have two array lists here because I'm going to do this two different ways, but for now I'm going to use this one. So I've created this file called data.txt. It contains a bunch of numbers in it, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and all I do is I this is how you create an array list. So by doing this, I've created an empty array list um, of type integer. It's very important. You cannot make an array list of primitive types. You can only make an array list of reference types. So even though for all intents and purposes, this looks like an array of ints, array list, sorry, this is an array list of ints, it's an array list of integers. So then we've created our scanner up here, which points at our file. And then we have a loop that says, as long as s has a next line, I'm going to take list at i, and we use an instance method called add, and then I read the next int from the file. And that's it. Array lists also have a really nice two-string method, meaning that when I print them out, I actually get um, a nice representation of the data in that array list. I can come in here, I can put 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, let's save this file, run this, now we get all those elements. Just a little point here, if you add an extra line there, and then you try and run this, you get an error. So if you, if you do this with integers, you run into this problem. So if you're, you're trying to do this and you get this error, just check, make sure you don't have that extra line at the end there. So let's run this again. There we go. I might want to read this into strings, an array list of strings, which is fine. So I can do the same thing. I just have to make this next line. And there we go. And we get the same thing. But then my, my array could be like, could have anything in it. So if I try this now. I run this. And then I could figure out what I want to do with the data after. I hope this helped. Please feel free to ask any other questions. Have a wonderful day.